Hey, hey, good evening. How is everyone? Great teacher, thank you. And you? Doing great, great. Excellent, almost finishing the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this week is very different because next week we have vacation. Yeah, that's, that's very excited. More or less, right? I I, I prefer to to continue. Good evening. Good evening. I prefer to continue, but they say we have to have one week vacation, so we have one week vacation, and then when we come back from the vacation on the Monday, we have the normal classes. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, sorry, I didn't listen you last the last words you said ah, about, the, about the vacation. You yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, that the vacation. But really, after today, we only have six classes. Oh, okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. So are we going to have classes on Monday? Not this Monday, but the next Monday. Ah, okay the second Monday of August. Okay. I, if I am correct, I believe it's going to be the August 8th, Monday, August 8th. Okay. 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 I think it's ninth. Is it the ninth? Yeah, teacher. I just checked the calendar. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 you're right. Because Saturday is the 31st. You're right. Saturday is the 31st. So, uh huh. Monday is, is the second. Yes. August 9th. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure, teacher. So, what are your plans? What are your plans for uh, the coming up holiday for the, or for the next week? Daddy. Take a relaxing time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Natalie, what are you going to study? English. No, I'm mm -hmm. going to study uh, uh, physical, medicina física, uh, bio, no, bio statistica, because uh, this Monday, I'm going to start the university, so I need to. Let's just say repasar. Review. Review about that. On Monday. Yes. Imagine if the Monday is the week for vacation and you begin the university. No, the Monday. Mm, Ninety. Ninth. Okay. Okay. Yes. So this week I'm going to review about some topics on the subject. Okay. okay. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's always a good idea before. Mm -hmm. Hey, Samantha, uh, did you, I don't remember you present yesterday. Did, did you present? What was the story? Um, I was, telling you the story but you tell me that it's time right so. <laughs> that's that's right that's why i was thinking like we didn't we didn't get a chance to finish yeah okay she, she wants to continue today that's oh, right uh -huh. she was the first chaska. one yeah i think it was chaska is is that the name is that right yeah chaska. chaska okay all right so tell us a little bit about go ahead tell us the story Okay, just wait me a minute. <laughs> okay, all right. You you know I never heard of this this story. Uh, 
this this thing chaska i listen to that story in in the at, at the school uh several years ago <laughs> okay um i have to start again or yes <laughs> <laughs> But okay. I, I, but I like you trying not to start again. But yes, you have to start again. <laughs> okay. So hi, good evening, teacher and classmates. Today I'm going to talk about a legend of El Salvador that is called Chasca, the Virgin of the Water. <laughs> um, I don't know if have you heard about it, <laughs> but for me it's one of the most romantic legends. I have ever heard, but I'm going to tell you the story to put you in context, okay? Um, a long time ago, there was a powerful tribe in the lands of La Barra de Santiago in Aguachapan. A man who was called Pachautec was the leader and the strongest man of the tribe. And his daughter, Chaska, was the princess and the most beautiful woman that you can find in that place. One day, Pachautec asked Chaska to marry with one of the best soldiers of the tribe that they have, but she didn't accept and totally refused to marry him because she never felt interested about that things or love and all the, all the things. <laughs> but a week later, Chaska went to the river to appreciate the sunset <laughs> and she saw a man fishing in the river and also the man noticed her. So they start talking and they stay there until the night. Passing the days, Chaska escapes from his house in the night to go to the river and talk to the man. By the time they fell in love, but they can't stay together because if Pachautec discovered they it will probably will kill him <laughs> kill them i'm sorry i'm sorry for the noise <laughs> okay <laughs> but uh, one day pachautec discovered they the he discovered that chaska fell in love with a man for another tribe so he got very but very angry and he asked one of his soldiers to kill the man. So uh, at night, while Chaska was going to the river, uh, she saw how an, an arrow crossed the body of the man <laughs> and killed him in a second. So uh, she can't believe what happened. Like her man died in front of her eyes <laughs> so uh, she can't support the pain of her heart <laughs> so uh, she tied a stone to her waist and jumped into the river <laughs> the legend says that actually in the midnight when it's a full moon you can see a girl in the coast of la barra de santiago talking with a man and if you see it and don't disturb they you will have blessing the next day and that's all the story <laughs> thank you for your attention okay all right very interesting sam very i i have to say i had never heard the story so for me it's very nice to hear it um really never never in my life so it's uh, it's very interesting um there's a couple of things that you mentioned uh, there are two mistakes that you had, really, and it's only that you said from he is, uh, she escaped from his house, and it's supposed to be she escaped from her house, right? Because Chaska is a woman, and then you say uh, when, with the arrow he can't believe his eyes, and remember it's a past tense, so it's he uh, she couldn't believe her eyes, couldn't. Mm -hmm. But very good job, very good. All right, Sam. Who, who's next, Sam? Um, I don't remember uh, who was the other person that didn't participate yesterday. If I remember correctly, um, Hilda, Iris, Marcela, um, 
and Doris, and I think Carla and Maritza. No, no, and, and Carla. Um, Iris. <laughs> Iris. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about the legends uh, of the Nian Shou. Uh, the legends uh, is from China. Okay, uh, the legend of Nian Shou, uh, the word Nian means uh, year, uh, Shou means beast. If we put the words together, uh, it means the year of the beast. Okay. Uh, in China, um, New Year it wasn't uh, celebrated in, in China. The New Year Eve was a terror um, every year, and the village was um, attacked uh, by the monster. Uh, um, came out came out uh, of the ocean uh, during the night. Well. The monster had the horn uh, on the forehead, uh, big eyes, um, uh, ah, a, a sharp teeth, a, a long tail. Uh, the monster had a lion body. And then the emperor and the people wanted to kill the monster. They wanted to find the solution, but they didn't have the solution because the monster uh, was a spirit. Well, then uh, suddenly the old man uh, appeared and he told to the emperor about the, this monster that uh, the evil spirit uh, didn't like the light and the noise. Well, then the emperor and the old man uh, tried to find a solution and they it created different things. The old man um, created the gunpowder and other things. Well, the emperor ordered uh, to the people that put, uh, put out uh, the bonfire and the red blanket uh, upside their houses. Well, and fall, uh, the night full, and the monster they, uh, came out of the ocean and the old man uh, uh, lit uh, something that he, cre he had created. And the, the things uh, explore, uh, explore in the sky and illuminated the sky with different colors. Well, finally, the monster, uh, the monster uh, left uh, because uh, the monster uh, didn't like the light. For that reason, uh, people, uh, Chinese people, uh, like to celebrate a new year. Uh, and also, if you see the parade in, in China, you can see the little monster, the Nian Shou. I will show you, this is the photo. Okay, if you see that monster, that is the Nian Shou. Okay, that is my presentation. <laughs> Okay, very good. Um, good job in speaking and, and pronunciating. Really, in your case, only one word uh, was mispronounced um, because the other words are Chinese. So I don't know if they're spelled, if they're correctly or not, right? Nian Shou or Shou, I don't know. The Nian Shou, uh, yes, I, was, <laughs> I have class on Friday. Do you speak Mandarin? Uh, I am beginner. <laughs> ah, Ni Hao Ma? Working out. Yeah, wow, good. Hey, hey, that's cool. Somebody else that speaks Mandarin. Starting off, good. And you? <laughs> a little bit, the same, the same as you, a little bit. I want to try to learn, but it's difficult, the sound. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's, it's super difficult also. The only word that you mispronounced was really parade. It's parade. Parade. Mm -hmm. That's right, okay. Great. All right, Edis, who's the next person? Uh, can you repeat again the list of people that didn't pass yesterday? 
Yes, if I remember correctly, we have Hilda, uh, Marcela, Doris, Carla. Um, I don't think Rodrigo passed either. I, I don't remember Rodrigo or Ernesto. Okay, uh, Carla Torrento. Okay. Okay, good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Um, first, my story is a little for the land for the princess of uh, the country. This country is the princess Chaska. Chaska, the princess of the world. Is uh, was upon a time in a little town and um, the princess I uh, in love with the other boy uh, with the other idea is is this love is, is Christian girl um, um, uh, um the father for Cheska I don't for the relationships for this boy, um, eh, for the reason for the princess Cheska uh, died in the river. Um, I just, I don't would say the work. Um, Um, continue the story is a course for this town for the day for the prince. Finish. Okay, Carla, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Carlo, it, great job thinking about the story and coming out with it. Um, we need to work on making your sentences organized on how you want to say it. Uh, because when you are speaking, you are jumping around from one thing to another. So it's a little difficult to, to make sure that the sentence, your ideas are complete, okay? But it's excellent that you are, you are trying and great job trying to in investigate and come up with the idea. Um, you need the pronunciation. I think uh, I understand now towards the end is um, we have the difference between dead and died. So when the person is... <laughs> It said when the, the action is they died. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Good job. All right, Carla. Who's next? Doris. Doris. Okay. Doris. Hey, Doris is there today. Hi. Ah, today Doris didn't escape. All right, Doris. I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday I had problem with my microphone but uh, now it's okay <laughs> perfect Doris we are ready for you okay uh, my legend is Doris, for do, the... do you have a camera Doris I'm sorry no problem <laughs> okay hey, we see Doris hey, hey everybody <laughs> hello to Doris all right hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay the legend the CPTO is a boy with a big belly uh, and he came to the river to see the young lady while they bat and he threw a stone at them to get their attention. He's character characterized by wearing a large Hat, as well as his belly. The CPTO has a deformation in his feet, having them upside down, and therefore causing confusion where he walks and the people also. It's all, <laughs> it's the summary <laughs> of the CPTO. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We know the video from yesterday. So the summary is a great job. <laughs> okay. Great job. Perfect. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, Doris, can you tell me that last sentence? 
uh, how how you finished uh, from where he walked, or, or what did you say? Uh, he therefore causing confusion where he walked okay. because he has the deformation in his feet. Right. I, um, <clears throat> Is this the word you are saying? Yes. Okay. All right. That's what I that wanted to be sure. Okay. The, that pronunciation is there. There. Four, like the number four. Therefore. Four. Therefore. Yes. That's that, okay. exactly. That's Thank the right, you. That's the correct pronunciation. And okay. That word or well, the the idea of therefore is this is the reason for something. Okay. So when you say, oh, therefore, mm -hmm. it's like, it's similar to because, but mm -hmm. of an explanation why something happens. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, good, thank you, Doris. Who's next, Doris? Yeah. Quien falta, quien falta, quiero ver. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Doris, don't worry. <laughs> Marvin Cali? Okay. Wait, no, no, I, I think Marvin, Marvin presented yesterday. Marvin did present. Okay. Yesterday. Um, mm. I think we are missing Hilda, um, Marcela. If I remember correctly, it was uh, Rodrigo. And... Marcela. Ah, okay, Mar I don't continue then. All right, Marcela. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to tell you about a story called The Elf. Is, it isn't a common story like the Cipitia, but it's about the Salvadorian mythology. The Elf is a spirit in love of beautiful girls. So she, uh, he, bothers a girl until she makes something uh, something unpleasant for him. For example, don't take a shower or maybe eat in the bathroom because he doesn't like a dirty girl. So he leave her alone. Uh, people say that one day during the night, a young girl was found in the seventh run of her school. She was on the floor and she had more of 50 pins in her body, in her skin. So when the people were when the people were spraying uh, holy water, she just cried. And one day she disappeared. Something, some uh, interesting of the story is that the elf always wears uh, elegant for his girls. And they say that and they feel uh, someone uh, by their side, like a ghost. That's all. What is the name of the story? The Elf, E-L-F. Huh? And what country is this from? It's a Salvadoran mythology. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow, I didn't know the, this one also. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is in common here. Okay, all right. All right, Marcela, I just want to make sure there are two things that I wasn't very clear on. You said um, the girl, she was found and then the word of her school. Yes, she was found 
in her school. Ah, only in. Okay, okay, no problem. Yes. And then in the other sentence or, or the other part was um, uh, more than 50 what? She had more than 50? Pins. P-I-N-S. Yes. Then it's correct. That is the correct pronunciation, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just very strange for the, okay. the, pin, the pins are pop, 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 like, like a lot of needles. Okay. <laughs> Yes, in, in all her body. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much, Marcia. All right. So those are the only ones that we have. Good. Okay. Marcia, who's next? Let me see. Hilda. Hilda. Okay. Hilda. Hi. Good night. Hello, Hilda. <laughs> I am back. <laughs> well, I see, I see. Uh, if you're talking about... Um, Hilda, does uh, your camera work? Uh, wait. I have my phone. Ah, then yes, then it <laughs> works because everybody's camera works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Este, eh, ¿Cómo era? Ah, if you're talking about uh, legends, I know the legend um, from the Usulutan. Um, it's called in the, um, uh, Laguna de Alegría. The people mother, mother receive is if you, if you swim at the middle of the lagoon, um, something under the water um, take you at the deep of the lagoon and you never come back and some people call this um legend uh, rolling about a mermaid if you know uh, and the people are talking about this and and you can swim in the lagoon or only the men are going under and never back. If it's talking um, the, the woman's mess, uh, you understand? <laughs> okay, that's all. <laughs> Okay, Hilda. All right. And Hilda, what happens or, or the legend, what what pulls the men under the water? What does the legend say? Uh, the people say um, uh, the mermaid is, is get a man under the water and I never come back and never know about the men or, or the people's ring in the middle. Only um, only gender masculine, no? gender yes, only the men. Yes. Only okay. men. Uh huh. Okay. All right. That, mm -hmm. Thank you, Hilda. Um, remember, lago is lake. So lake, right? That's the name. Uh, lake. Lake. Mm -hmm. um, the pronunciation mer. Maid, mermaid. Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And the other pronunciation is lagoon. Lagoon. La lagoon. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Um, I, who do we have left? I think we have, let me check. Uh, or do me a favor. For example, in the reactions, uh, in the reactions, Put this if you if you passed yesterday because that way the uh, that way we can check who's next. Okay, Lemar, Natalie, Jose. I think I remember Wilbur and Jonathan and Marvin. Right, Ada. I I think Ada passed too. Ada, you passed yesterday. I remember you passed or no? 
Yes, teacher. I, I talk about the squeaky car. Squeaky yeah, car. The squeaky, the squeaky car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the people, Sergio too, okay. So we have Ernesto, uh, Rodrigo, and Maritza that are left. Is that correct? No, I passed yesterday and I tell you a, a story about you. Ah, uh, that's right. You were right after the other one. Yes, 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 because we had the, the couple of CPPs. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So, uh, Ernesto or Rodrigo? Rodrigo. Okay. All right, Hilda. Rodrigo, you are next. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, Rodrigo. Can you hear me? Yes. So, hello. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you the story about the, the headless priest that it is a story originally from El Salvador and it is really known in some in some places, but there are different kinds of versions. One of the most known is about a, a priest or father that used to have that it used to have a a romance that it wasn't that it wasn't to to be that supposed to have that's because they receive a, a, a pushment in at the street. He is he's working at the street at night. For for all this that for all this ad that he made. Also there is another version that tells that he was a priest that some that once was fighting side by side helping Person, people that used to live in the country or rural areas. So the Spanish government captured him, captured him and, and killed and killed. So due to this, the the story tells that in the night it appears some night workers and if you see him it's really bad because you will feel like tears in your body and you were able to speak to for some days due to the fear and also other stories there that he appears beneath trees and scaring people, especially people that use bad or um, the dark taste. Sorry, Rodrigo, the, the last part we didn't- Can you hear me? No, the last part, no. Only the part where uh, the people, um, you said bad and then? Um, bad, bad people or someone that you need to change some aspect in their life for, for the better, yeah. Okay. okay, that was the last part, right, Rodrigo? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, Rodrigo, great job. Thanks for sharing and coming up. This is the priest, huh? But only explain the priest and never who he had the relationship with. We don't know. We don't know with who. All right. Well, it happened during the Spanish government or the conquest of El Salvador. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, a couple of the words, Rodrigo, that you need to work the pronunciation is punishment, punishment. Okay. Punishment. Good. Yeah. And acts. 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 Yes. And you said people that is bad. Remember, pre people are plural, so we do not use is. People that are bad. Yeah. People that are bad. They are bad, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, my mistake. No, no, good. That's good, Rodrigo. Good job. All right. And all right, I think we have our last person then. Teacher, the good thing is that today you're not measuring the time. It's because today we have more time. <laughs> so I <laughs> have one more and it's not a problem because more or less everybody finished. The girls finished, for example, at three, three minutes and five seconds, three minutes and two seconds. So, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who? The last one was, I'm sorry, uh, the last one was Ernesto, right? Or yes, yes, teacher. Right. Because you are very quiet, Ernesto. Like, ah, si el teacher se le va a olvidar. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Hi, everyone. <laughs> nice to see you, Ernesto. Nice to see you. All right. Okay. okay. I am. So, uh, 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 a legend of my town in San Juan Anualco is the legend of tiger and the deer. Um, once upon a time, um, there were two married people the, who live in San Juan Anualco. And, and one day, the old man said to the old woman, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, come on, hunting to some, for something to eat. And the yeah, viejo say, <laughs> okay, viejo, come on. And, and both uh, went deep into the forest. Uh, <laughs> suddenly, a tiger jumped in front of them. In, and um, and they uh, they in this in this moment and they they pray to the Lord of Charity, El Señor de la Caridad, and and and, and when 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 I, when they pray, appears um appears in in this in this in that moment appears a deer. And the tiger chews for the deer and runs for it, for it, <laughs> and, and away from the from the couple. Okay. And when they arrive at the town, um, they they tell everyone uh, what what happened. And, he, the priest is, uh, decide make make a temple and uh, um, on honor of Lord of Charity. Um, on Friday afternoon, many people pray uh, are, are praying as uh, uh, for the Lord of the Charity and. And the and the <clears throat> the walls of the temple are full painting for 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 the miracle with miracles uh, recited for them uh, and and Saint Patron festival uh, for for persons disguises uh, disguises. Uh, disguises as the as the character of this that history and chase the children and the, 
Mm. Uh, well, that dance, uh, dance the the they dance they dance the dance of tiger and the deer. Uh, that that's the name. <laughs> Make the dance, uh, the the tiger and the deer, and and they and they say, uh, uh, um, comic verses, and and about repartition, about distribution of part of tiger, and uh, among the the people of the town, and. Like like that. Uh, <clears throat> the bag is for the common. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm an example. And uh, it's very common. Uh, very common. Very common. Comic. Uh, I invited you <laughs> in my and uh, visit the the town. Uh, of San Juan and Waco, and, and you see, and you enjoy see, see the dance of the tiger and the deer. Yeah. Oh, that's all. <laughs> okay. And Ernesto, this is this is a legend from San San Juan. Juan and oh. San Juan and San Juan and Waco. Yes, La Paz. And they have this in the church, or is only the story, or or what? Uh, the, this is the tiger and the deer, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And the tiger and the deer. It, uh, this was a, a long time ago. Okay. And you say they have a dance? Is that correct? Did I hear correctly? They, yes, they yes, yes. The, the the dance. Four people are the goosies and all the charities. This for chart uh, the tiger, the deer, the old man, and the old woman. And for makes move, <laughs> makes move like a, like a hunting uh, the, the the tiger. And when that ends, uh, the tiger is hunted. And and then uh, the, the the old man begins to to distribution of part of the tiger and in among the, the the people of the town and with with rhymes or, or verses very comic <laughs> very common and very interesting too okay all right thank you very much ernesto um good good uh, very different story I, I had another one that i had never heard the tiger and the deer, mm -hmm. very okay. strange because in El Salvador, no tigers, but ah, it's okay. It's a story, right? <laughs> it's a tigrillo. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. There you go. All right, Ernesto, we have a couple of words that we uh, that you need to pronounce a little bit better. Those are the words lived, lived. Lived. Mm -hmm. With a D, strong D. Okay, lived. Charity, charity, charity. Thanks. <laughs> Remember with T at the end, T, charity, charity, charity. Okay. Okay. Then, Thanks, teacher. Uh huh. We have the word appear. You appear. Said, yes, you said appear, but remember yes. the past. That you said appear correctly, but remember you are talking about the story. It's in the past, so it has to be appeared with D appeared. appeared okay the same for the next one decided decided uh-huh decided. decided yeah okay and then you said oh this was received for them the correct way is this was received okay uh by them by received by them received by them yes received by them Okay, and the last mistake, the, or, or okay. uh huh, uh, or two more mistakes. You, you had you said for persons, remember, persons doesn't exist, is for 
people. People is the people. Uh -huh. people is the plural. And the last part was you use says, but the correct way is past tense said. 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 Thank you. Thank you guys. All right. Hey, hey, so we got everybody. Woof. Uh, good, good legend, good story. Yeah, an applause for everyone. That's great. That's great. I'm glad everybody had opportunity to do and to speak. Wilbur, did you have a question? No. No, I don't. Ah, okay, 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 good, good. All right, I wasn't sure. Okay. Okay. Now, it, excellent ideas, good usage. And remember, that's the idea. Don't worry, everybody makes mistakes. The important is you begin using your English. You begin practicing. This is going to be always you're going, even, even in Spanish, even in Spanish, you make mistakes sometimes when speaking. And it's natural, it's going to happen in English too. So don't worry, okay? In this moment, what we're going to do, or oh, sorry, did, so Ernesto, did you have a question? No question, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. So in this moment, what we're going to do is, uh, for those that came a little bit later, just a reminder that today is the last day for uh, next, because next week there are no classes for the vacation. We return on Monday, August 9th. So next week, no class, but we have, we come back to class Monday, August 9th. Okay. So okay. what we're going to do in this moment, in this moment, we are going to make our partners and we are going to discuss what are our plans for the vacation? What do we, what are we going to do? And then we're going to discuss with models. What would we like to do? As an example, there are two different types and two different grammars. What are we going to do? This is you plan. This is you have the idea. And then the other, the model, I would like to, is you imagine, ah, maybe you imagine no COVID. You imagine a, a, a bonus for the salary. You imagine a trip. This is the difference. I would go to uh, maybe to Roatan. I would like to go to Roatan and go with, with, and it's your idea, whatever you like, but it's different. I am going to, for example, I am going to La Paz. This is, I plan. This is the activity that's going to happen. It's okay, the two grammar tenses? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, great. So right now we're going to talk about our future plans and we're going to talk about the vacation that next week, what are our plans that we're going to do? Alan, any questions? Alan? Ala, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, one moment. I changed Marcella because it looked like never, you had some problems connecting, but Marcella returned, no problem. Okay. Okay, so you and Marcella, you go ahead, you talk about your plans and your activities, okay? Okay. Okay. 
Hello. I'm going. Go ahead, okay. Jack. Oh, okay. Sorry. Continue. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can okay. take it. What? Where? Where does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. Uh, uh, well, for one of the things I'm going to do for sure, I'm going to work. I'm going to work Monday, Tuesday, and probably Wednesday. And uh, one of the things I'm going to do, that's a rule, I'm going to clean the garage. Uh, it's a mess <laughs> because of my son. Uh, <laughs> yes. But. Hey, teacher. <laughs> hey, Doris. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hey, you go ahead. You continue. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> well, maybe I'm going to put a some a little pool. I don't know if it's, that is okay. I mean, inside my house for my kids. Because we can't go out that much because of COVID. <laughs> and we are a little bit scared. Uh, because we, we don't want to, to get sick and all that. And I don't have the segunda dosis todavía. The second, no sé, ¿cómo se dice eso? Second. The second dosis. Second yeah, dosis. Right. The second doses. Second doses. I don't, I don't, I don't have it yet. Where do you have it? Yeah. University of El Salvador. Okay, so very good. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, Carla. Remember, it's good evening. Good evening and good night when it's bye-bye. Oh, okay. It's explain for the different for good evening, um, good night, the other in the last, uh, last level. Uh -huh. It's the different for explain to another teacher. It's good night, uh, starting in the seven o'clock. Uh, good evening, finish in the six o'clock. It's uh, different. Uh -huh. No, is is correct or no? Uh, not correct because the the evening be is correct. Evening and night is correct. The night begins at that time but not good. Good is an expression. Good evening is hello. Good night. Oh. Uh -huh. So evening, yes. Night, yes. But no good evening or good night. Good evening is hello and good night is goodbye. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. it's more explaining for another level for teachers playing for different for good evening and for good night for in. I have it this this explaining um the other explaining and it's so good for the different. Mm -hmm. It's easy to remember. Good evening, hello, and good night. Goodbye. Oh the same problem when I start this devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, ten teacher for the different for this. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know for this difference. Okay. Okay. So as you see, the time is 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 fast. Okay. <laughs> so don't worry. We is we are talking about our plan, our activities. I listen, and some of you only have the opportunity to talk about. I'm going to not. I would like, and I want you not, not use the imagination, but it's okay, right? Um, I want to mention that on when we return from vacation, we are going to begin unit five. It's better we begin unit five after the vacation, that way we don't get confused and that way we don't forget, right? Unit five is going to be cross-cultural experience, cross-cultural experience. This means, when you see or when you visit other countries or 
if you meet people from other countries, okay? So for example, if you speak to an American in El Salvador, or if you, if you talk to maybe someone from Australia or a British person, okay? This is cross-culture, is Salvadorian culture and British culture, Salvadorian culture and uh, Middle Eastern culture, the different things. Have you ever had the opportunity to talk to or meet people from another country? Yes, I am in other countries. Hey, <laughs> Limar, where are you? I live in this country and it's not my first country, right? the, the, the one that where I Ah, yes, born. yes, yes. That's right, because you are from Venezuela, right, Limar? Yes. Limar, when did you come to El Salvador? I came here in... Uh, um, Mm, oh my God. 2009, I think. 2009. Uh -huh. Okay. So 11 years in El Salvador. Yes. So now you understand Salvadorian Spanish. The push <laughs> yes. ah. my, my family said, hey, you don't speak uh, Venezuelan. You, uh -huh. you speak Salvadorian now. Uh -huh. But here, people say that I'm not from here, so I'm in the middle of. of You're in the I don't middle. Know what, in the middle. I'm in the middle of something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I imagine in Venezuela, no pajilla. They they have no idea. They don't know. <laughs> no, no. Okay. They, at at first, the first time I, I I came here, I was like, I need a pitillo. People were like, What's that? You know, pitillo is pajilla. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. it, 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 when I was when I uh, was uh, for the first time in a mercado, mm -hmm. I was I need cambur. What's that? Here is guineo. <laughs> ah, and in Venezuela that's cambur. Cambur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to say I like cambur more the word because the cambur make me think exotic, make me <laughs> from the India. I need cambur. Hmm? Yeah, but... <laughs> I, 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 and I don't know what the person is creating. <laughs> okay. But I don't know. We are weird. Mm -hmm. Because and... uh, uh, many countries said Guinea, but never, no, no uh, I, I haven't seen an other country that say Cambur too, only in Venezuela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never heard the, the, the other, another country. I, I've heard Guinea and Platano. And banana, but banana, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Limor, do you eat Venezuelan food here in El Salvador? Yes. Uh, some Venezuelan girl sell, sells uh, Venezuelan food in Santa Tecla, in Paso yes. del Carmen. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Uh huh. I, I, I know this. That's why I was thinking because I know that the Venezuelan the Venezuelan girl and her husband. They are really? Oh, oh, she's my friend, Mikari. Yeah, of course, Mikari. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh huh. And then so I talked to Mikari, and then she's uh, and her husband, and oh, they have Venezuelan food. They have these little, like, mm, empanadas pequeños. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Delicious. Yes. Yes. It's like, 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 like cheese fingers or something like that. Yes, yes. I have a complaint with Leymar. Uh -huh. I know you use the arepas, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I met her like two years ago and never gave me an arepa. Mm. She's still waiting for arepas. <laughs> She's going to send you to Paseo El Carmen. She's going to send you to Paseo El Carmen to, the, uh -huh, to Mikari. And there she's going to say, there. Ask for the ask for the food. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have experience with people from other countries? How was the experience? What happened? What did you learn? No. Wow. Yes. Salvadorians, huh? Okay. For example, Chinese people. Mm -hmm. They are native and they like to show us about the food, that the food is totally different and tasty. And also they, they think that today you need to learn a lot of vocabulary and tomorrow tell me the, all the vocabulary. And you, what? 
because they are very, how do you say, disciplinados? Disciplined? Disciplined and also they, wow, that is easy. And, and, and also we think that, mm, really, but it's totally difficult. And then they show us about the places and show us about the, for example, the, their house and their house is small and they, uh, they don't have a, 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 for example, I don't know how to say table, but this is the, in the kitchen that is a small, mm -hmm. Nada de, de las que están en la sal, de, en, en la cocina, de, esa, de esas mesas grandes. De, ellos no tienen, ellos son como, me, como mesitas chiquitas, chiquititas. Así que ellos, uh, they, uh, they have, for example, a lot of traditions, and they have a lot of things color red that they represent about the different uh, gods and that's it, that they like to learn about uh, our culture. Uh, they want to uh, speak Spanish, but they can't uh, speak very well, but they try to uh, speak. Okay, all right. Well, this is exactly what we're going to do after the vacation. If you have the opportunity to interact or talk to somebody from another country, we're going to discuss it on how was the reaction, what happened, how is it if you visit other countries and things that you've seen, okay? So I hope everyone has a wonderful vacation, that you have a time to relax and enjoy. And I see you Monday, August 9th, Monday, August 9th. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.